Hello guys, I hope you are having a relaxing day. This is Catnip Cloud and in this video I'm going to show you some techniques I used on my song Places featuring Tiril Hognesta. So I hope you get something out of it and enjoy. The whole instrumental is essentially based around the keyboard from my other song Time is an Illusion. So it sounds like this. And what I did was reversing it and I took the tempo down to 93.5 BPMs and it's important that you have the re-pitch algorithm on so the pitch will go, go down as the tempo goes down. So then it sounds like this. I chopped the audio up and rearranged the order, so now it sounds like this. This is a cool way you can take one song and just uh, reverse it, change the tempo, change the order of the notes, and then you have a totally new song. For the very start of the song, I took the tempo really high and automated it down to the original tempo. Since I have it set to the re-pitch mode, the pitch of the track will uh, gradually follow the tempo change. So it sounds like this. So, yeah, this is a cool twisted way to make some weird transitions in your song. So, for the bridge part, this is really simple. All I did was take this uh, keyboard section we just made earlier. What I did was slowing it down half the tempo. Oop. There you go. And uh, since it's set to re-pitch, the pitch will also be an octave down. So now it sounds like this. My really talented friend Tiril Hognesta wrote some beautiful vocals for this song. And what I did was in the chorus I made the vocal into a synthesizer right here. And uh, she says, fall into deeper places. Uh, in the word deeper, I took the D sound and put it in here. And it's like a loop, so I can play it, uh, the, uh, the sound D in any pitch I want for as long as I want. So together it sounds like this. This track right here is just a lower octave to make it sound thicker. And what's cool about this is uh, her natural vocals starts and ends with the sound D. And that's exactly the sound I use for the synthesizer. So it uh, glues together like a coherent and natural part of the vocal line. So yeah, if you're gonna use this uh, trick on your own vocals, try to incorporate it with the same uh, sound as the natural vocals to make it flow more nicely. Another thing I did with this uh, vocal synth I made was make a riser out of it. And basically it's just a long note and uh, the loop, as you can see here, is automated. So it just goes faster and faster and faster. And uh, also I automated the pitch upwards f uh, so it goes up an octave from the start. So yeah, this is a cool way to make effects in your track with the vocals. So if you're like me and you like to listen to ASMR videos, it can be quite fun to put them in your song. So that was what I did right here. 
I put uh, this ASMR whispering thing at the end of the bridge, but I also took some of the breaths and uh, put a lot of reverb and delay on them, so it sounds like cymbals. So the ASMR thing and the drums together sounds like this. So, thank you for watching the video until the end. If you have any questions or suggestions for new videos, just tell me in the comments down below. And uh, also consider subscribing. So, have a nice day. Peace out.